Yo, what's going on YouTube? Finally, the Dragon Ball Fighters patch is out, patch 1.31, and we do get balance changes. And we get balance changes for the game as a whole, for, uh, so for some mechanics, and also for a specific character changes as well. Um, so obviously, yes, Lab Code 21 did get nerfed, and other people did get nerfed too, slight nerfs like Vegito. Um, but for the most part, they still seem like they're pretty much gonna be ruling the game, but uh, let's get into the patch of stone so you can see exactly what has changed. Okay, so for the first patch that they did that um, affects all characters is they pretty much made it so when you're in Sparking Blast, um, if you get a hit on somebody off a of Super Dash, instead of launching them like it does normally like this, from now on, if you're in Sparking Blast and you get a hit in there on the ground, it actually keeps them grounded. And that is actually insane because this makes it pretty much a lot better, honestly. Like, obviously, as you can tell, but... So from now on, if you do get a hit in Sparking Blast off a of Super Dash, um, you can actually keep them on the ground so you can combo. So you no longer have to do things like this. Okay, let me see if I can even let me see if I can even set up that um, old situation. Yeah, I can't even set it up, but yeah, you get the idea. And then for the next balance pass, it's just a small one. Uh, they just made it so now when you guard cancel, you don't accidentally get the um, input if you do a diagonal input to guard cancel. So from now on, if you do guard cancel, it has to be forward and it won't count a diagonal input. So it's just small, I guess, quality of life patch. So, so you don't rage because you keep guard canceling by accident and also it did for the last patch um it basically fixed the z change where for some specific characters um it had like weird effects when you were to z change off a of, uh, super or a special um, i don't know what those specific characters were but whatever whoever they were they pretty much fixed it now so if you were dealing with that um you no longer have to worry about that so okay now i'm gonna get into the specifics of course i'm gonna start off with lab code 21 because that's pretty much what everybody is wondering okay so for her savory slice uh, which is this attack they actually reduce the block stun on it so no longer is it kind of a mix up where if you block it um, they could get a back dash or anything like that you kind of have to decide what they're going to do next so now on uh, when they do block this attack it's minus eight whether it's the light the medium or the heavy so pretty much it is your turn um then they also did increase the scaling so no longer should you get tod if you just get hit by that one random amazing move so let's see I mean, obviously it still does a lot. It still does, actually, that's actually really, 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 wow. Okay, they increase the scaling by a lot. So yeah, you really shouldn't get TOD by that move any longer, honestly. It's, it's actually really good. Yeah, so if you get hit by this shit online anymore, don't worry about dying instantly because they reduce the scaling by a lot or increase it. So no longer do you have to deal with that shit. And then for the next attack, so for the vertical uh, savory slicer, they increase the damage scaling again. But yeah, if you get caught by, let's see. Come on, Super Dash. Okay, so off of this one, again. Okay, I don't remember her, her optimals, but as y'all can tell, it's actually really scaled. So it does a lot less damage. So again, this is a really nice nerf. So thank God, because this character was so obnoxious when it came to like damage, especially off of like really big obnoxious buttons that are easy to hit anyways. So now it's a lot less reward for using those buttons, which is good. And then for the next attack or heal stomp, this little move right here, uh, they just reduce the damage and increase the damage scaling. So again, it looks like they kind of just nerfed her damage all around because she was such a damage monster. So from now on, this move does have more uh, scaling and they also didn't uh, lower the damage of it as well. And now for her photon swipe, which is this move, Oop, not that one, this one, they increased the startup. So it's not a freaking instant beam like it was before. So she's not the only character in the game that has some ridiculous ass beam. Uh, they pretty much made it um, in line with every other character. So now it's pretty much the same as Goku's Kamehameha or something like that, for example. So another good nerf. Not mad to see it. Okay, and this nerf right here is actually huge because for her total detonation ball, uh, which is her super attack, if you do it on the ground, they actually re increase the recovery. So what this does mean is from now on, you cannot see, look. Uh, to, you can no longer uh, actually chain super so once you do this attack you have to z change or that's it because the uh the stomp no longer combos so this is a huge nerf because that means she doesn't get that free um buff every time which is this and don't worry that uh, we will get into that but basically yeah they really just nerfed the hell out of her damage so i'm not mad to see it so no longer can you just keep uh doing supers over and over and over again after that stomp and finally for the move everybody's been wondering the photon pulse I'm going to go down the list, but I'm going to say it right now. They didn't remove the, the debuff and the debuff still does stay if 
um, lab coat 21 dies, but um, it did get some pretty decent nurse. Maybe not all the nurse everybody was looking for, but I mean, at least it was something, honestly. So for the first nerf, it did reduce the move's damage, so this does do less damage now. Again, not really what I cared about too much, but hey, I'll, I'll take what I can get. And it also did increase the damage scaling as well. And I guess the biggest thing that they did change for this move is that it actually doesn't grab the opponent anymore while they're in hit stun. So basically what this does mean is that you can is that you can't, actually can't combo into this move anymore. See, because that did not combo because it is still 21 hits. And also that does mean that even off a hit, it still does not work to combo into. So basically now on, if you get touched by this character, that does actually not mean you're gonna get debuffed. Because look, if you can see on hit, it actually no longer works. So again, this is actually a huge debuff for the move and I'm glad they did something big like that. But so no longer, we have to worry about getting debuffed every time this character touches you. So from what it looks like, um, for the most part, she can only debuff you pretty much if you're blocking, just as a command grab. So that is a very, very nice, nice nerf. And then for the last couple of nerfs for that move, um, they did delay the start of the invincibility. So um, it's not a freaking frame four reversal anymore, which is freaking good because I was so stupid. And they also increased the um, key guard scaling now. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all her nerfs. Uh, she still is, uh, you know, a I'm pretty sure she's still a pretty good character, you know, she still has, I'm assuming, uh, pretty good damage. Um, they did nerf her damage for a lot of the easy moves like that she did have, but I mean, we'll, I guess only time will tell how much it will affect her. Because again, since uh, we still do have that debuff, um, it still is a good move, but we just got to see what happens over time. So yeah, and now for my dog Vegito, and yes, they did nerf this move, however, it, it's still pretty, it's still kind of stupid to be honest. I mean, for the most part, everybody in this character does have pretty big buttons. So I guess now it's kind of just more in line with them and not as ridiculously stupid, but it did slightly uh, increase the recovery, but it's still a really good move. So but hey, again, we'll take what we can get. And it's definitely not as, as obnoxious as before. It still does just look a little bit crazy, but yeah, they did nerf this. So the startup is still the same, but the recovery is, is actually a lot more. Look, I'm spamming it and it doesn't come out nearly as fast as it used to. So a good nerf and I'm a Vegito main and I am honestly happy that they nerfed that button because it was amazingly obnoxious. Okay, and now uh, for the next, uh, I guess buff, uh, they did change the startup on the his unique attack. So was, this button now does come out a whole lot faster. Um, I'm not sure what this will uh, really change in the future. As of right now, it only the only thing I know that it does is slightly change the timing for some of his combos. But besides that, I mean, I guess we're going to have to wait for the lab uh, for the lab monsters to get into the lab with him and kind of see what new combos he does get from it, if he does get any new combos from it. But yeah, I guess it's just a quality of life change and it's very welcome. And for his next buff, uh, they did increase the startup on his uh, sword attack on the ground. So again, another quality of life change. I don't really think it does anything for his combos, but it kind of just makes him a little better in neutral. And he already was a neutral god, so it's a buff, but I mean, I'm not mad at the buff. I don't think it makes him any more obnoxious, so a good a good change in my opinion. And finally, he got the same treatment lap code 21 did, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be a common theme uh, pretty much amongst the whole roster, but they increased the scaling for this move right here. So as you guys can see, Ginyu is not exploding for getting hit by that move, so that is nice to see. All right, and for the next character we're going to go over is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Uh, for the most part, he pretty much just got buffs. Okay, that's all he got. So for the first buff, um, they increased the knockback on his standing heavy, and they increased it by a lot. So um, I'm not quite sure uh, what the point of this is, but I guess it's maybe just a safer way to end block strings, because from now on, if you block this, you can sit way back. And you still can uh, change specials into it, and it doesn't really do anything to the frame data, but from now on, I guess if you do want to create some distance at the end of your strings, you know, have this button to do it. And it is minus 11, so, but still there's so much um, space between you and the opponent, uh, they definitely can't punish you, so. And then for his next change, uh, this is actually a pretty big one. So for his crouching heavy, which is his down H, uh, the distance move can now be changed with the back input and knockback can now be changed on block with the back input. So basically what that means is, instead of flying forward, now you can stay in place. And if you guys don't know what the benefit of that is, let me show you because it's actually pretty huge. Because as a, someone who uses Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and anybody else that uses him can attest to this, a lot of times uh, when people are kind of right above you, uh, if you try to 2H them since he moves forward so much, a lot of times you just miss. So watch. 
Let's see, you see on V's right above me. And I have 2H and of course I go way by him. And a lot of times this happens when su people super dash and it really just causes them to go around you. And it's super annoying, but now people can't get away with that shit anymore. So now if you do a down heavy and you hold back right when you put in the input, they're not safe anymore. So you, since you don't move forward, you can't actually hit them. So this is really big and neutral. If someone ever super dashes above your head, because now if you actually do it correctly, you will smack them into the air. So this is actually a really, really cool change. I think that they did. And honestly, I wish that they did it with a lot more characters, but hey, something unique to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to make them a little bit better in neutral because his neutral does struggle a little bit. And now for his final buff, Meteor Strike, which is this attack right here. Uh, they just sped up the startup of it. So I guess now if you do use it in block strings, it's a little bit harder to read and down heavy. So it just kind of adds to his pressure. So um, a, a good buff. I don't think it makes him broken or obnoxious, but from now on, this move does have increased I'm sorry, it does have decreased startup, so it does come out a lot faster. So again, another good buff for Gogeta. And the increased startup speed is only for the grounded version. So if you do the version in the air, it still has the exact same effect that it used to have. So it is only for the grounded version. But again, that does help with his pressure and his mix up too. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. Um, those are some of the changes for the pretty much for the main characters and then for some of the characters that I play personally. Um, if you do, if you guys do want me to cover other characters in this patch that did get changed, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to make a video for it. Okay, so that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.